In this Autodesk Maya tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the extrude tool. This Autodesk Maya tutorial is for beginners to learn how to extrude and add geometry to their models. First, I have a polygon cube right here, just from the poly modeling shelf in Maya. Then I'm going to right click and go to face mode. I'll select a face and then I can press Control E on a PC or Command E on a Mac and extrude. We have a few options. If I left mouse button drag over the word thickness, notice it goes up. I can reset this to zero by selecting the number. I can also local translate Z. By local translate Z, it appears to be the same as thickness, but it's a little different. I'll explain that in a moment. If I offset, it goes in and out. This is very similar to scaling. I'll show you another way to do that in a second. And then if I go up in thickness, I can add divisions. I can also do this if I went local translate Z and keep faces together it has no effect if I only have one face selected. So let's see another example. Now I'm going to select all of these faces. And if I press control E to extrude again, if I increase the thickness, it behaves as expected. I'm gonna put this back to zero. Also, if I local translate Z, it behaves as expected and I can type in a specific number. If I offset though, it gets all funky. So let's see what happens if I change keep faces together. Now keep faces together is off and if I change thickness, you'll notice that they come apart, but they're actually separated. So what you can do is go to offset and you can have the offset go in just a little bit. And if you're having trouble controlling this, you can actually hold down the control key while you drag on this and you get a lot more control. And if you still don't have enough control, you can hold control and shift as you drag and it'll go even slower. So if I have keep faces together off, I get all these separate faces. Then I can press G on my keyboard to repeat the command. And then I can local translate Z and quickly make this form here. And then I can increase the divisions if I want. And this is a very fast way of creating a lot of geometry. So let's take a look at another example. What happens if I select these two corner pieces? If I press Control E or Command E and I change thickness, it expands and these edges are parallel to the original edges. But that does not happen if I put the thickness back to zero and then I do local translate Z. You'll see that now I get this strange wedge shape. Notice that these edges are longer than the piece in the middle. That's because normally extrude comes out of the normal of the face. But here, since we have two normals, this particular edge doesn't know which normal face to use or which vector to use. So then Maya calculates with the extrude tool the average between these two normals, and that's an angle coming straight out like this. And then since this doesn't have to calculate the normal, it goes the full extent, but it still has to connect to this one and so that way it is half the distance. So just be aware of that. And if you turn keep faces off, then it'll extrude out like this on local translate Z, right? But then thickness will also work. So just be aware of that. And then of course you can increase the divisions. Let's take a look at another form. So if I just move over here and then I bring in a circle and I press W and we move our circle over here and we'll right click, go to face mode, and then in Maya, you can marquee select all the faces. We can press Control E to extrude with the extrude tool. And now let's see what happens if we turn keep faces together off and then we local translate Z. So we can make all these spikes and then we can click on offset and then we can hold Control and we can middle mouse button drag offset till we get it to exactly the way we want. So this is a really nice way to create some very complex geometry. We can even add divisions all the way down. So look at all that modeling that happens very quickly using the extrude tool in Maya. So I told you that there's different ways to offset the faces. Let's take a look at that. I'm gonna bring in another cube. So here's a cube. I'm gonna press W to move. Here's my cube right here. I'll press F to center on it. So with this cube, I can right click and go to face mode. Then I can select this face. I can press Control E or Command E to extrude in Maya. And then if I scale with one of these cubes, it's going to only scale in that axis, which can be helpful. And you might notice that this looks very similar to the offset command. So the offset can scale in addition to that. 
but usually you want to use one or the other. Let's take a look at that again on this face. So here, if I click both of these faces and then I press Control E or Command E to extrude, I could either use the offset command, but I want to turn keep faces together off, but I can also click one of these and then I get a global scale and then I can offset those faces in. Then I can press G on my keyboard to extrude again and then quickly we move out. I can increase my divisions, press G to repeat the command, go like this, and then we just keep going. So it is a very powerful tool that can quickly make a lot of geometry. Let's go ahead and look at one more piece of geometry. So I'm going to go ahead and create a polygon primitive, and I'm going to grab a soccer ball. Soccer ball is a great form. Then I'm going to press W to move the soccer ball, move it over. Then I'll right click, go to face mode. I'll press F to center the soccer ball. I'll select all of the faces. I'll press Control E to extrude. I'm going to turn off, keep faces together. And then I can set the offset by holding Control and middle mouse button after I click on it. And so we can offset the faces in like that. Then we can press G again to repeat the command. I can keep local faces off. And then I can click the offset command, hold control and middle mouse button, offset again. And then I can local translate Z and have all these pieces go in. And you can make a very interesting shape just like this. So this is really a great way to create a lot of complex geometry very quickly just using the extrude tool. And you could have had the divisions be whatever you wanted along that. So then when you press three to smooth, you can see what type of form you're going to get. So hopefully you can have a lot of fun 3D modeling with the extrude tool. And now you understand the difference between thickness and local translate Z with extrude and Maya, as well as offset and scale, clicking this square to get to the global scale command and the benefit of choosing whether or not you want to keep faces together on or off when you're extruding in Maya. Happy 3D modeling.